name is Heather Moore, and my newest book is Ammon. It's historical fiction on the Book of Mormon. Ammon is about the prophet Ammon, of course, so the title is really, really creative, as you can tell. But if you remember that Ammon is the prince that's supposed to inherit the throne of Zarahemla from his father, King Uzziah, but after he's visited by an angel, he totally changes his life around, and so he decides to go and uh, share the gospel as a missionary to the Lamanites. And so the story of, of my, my book, Ammon, it basically starts right as he reaches the land of Ishmael, and he's captured by the Lamanites and brought before King Lamoni. And the story takes place over a few months where he ends up converting King Lamoni and kind of the ramifications that, that ha of what happens in the land of Ishmael from that conversion. I read the Book of Mormon verses that I'm writing about. I read them almost every day, the same verses over and over. And I also look up the references because sometimes you'll hear the story of, for instance, about Alma the Younger, when we read in the scriptures about his vision that he had when he, after he was visited by the angel, there's actually scriptures that explain that vision several chapters later. So I try not to miss anything. And um, as I, after I read the scriptures and I kind of have an idea of, of what has to happen in a story, obviously I have to fill in the blanks then I will also do other research on the history of the time period. And I read things from Hugh Nibley and John Sorensen and several Book of Mormon scholars that they like to pontificate on what they thought happened. And so I start to kind of combine all that. And then if there's a question that I just, I can't find the answer for, then my dad actually has been a really good resource. He's done a lot of research on the Book of Mormon and he's taught Book of Mormon scripture classes at Brigham Young University and so I will email him and say I have this question do you know the answer and if he doesn't he'll send me to someone who might know so as I write though I try not to let the research slow my writing down because because once you start writing you don't want to take like a week off between scenes or chapters because then you you start to forget and you have to go back and review everything you wrote. Some people tell me that they have a really hard time reading and understanding the scriptures and how my novels will help them understand maybe the character or what actually happened in the scriptures. And of course, in all my preface, all my prefaces, prefaces that I write, I always say my goal is not to replace the story at all, but for you to maybe consider new possibilities and then go back and read the scriptures for yourself. I'm an obsessive reader, and that's probably what led me to writing. In fact, when I was in high school, English was my favorite subject. And I was going to major in that in college, but then I took my AP exam and I failed it. So I decided it was a sign and I uh, chose a different major, but I still love to read. I still love to write. I wasn't, I wasn't in the mode of, I'm going to write a novel, or I'm going to be an author someday. I just loved reading. And I remember when I lived in California when I first got married for a while and then I came back to Utah and my sisters in law were reading different books by Utah authors, and I thought, wait a minute, a Utah author? I, I, I mean, I had just thought that authors lived in New York or in LA or Europe or somewhere. And so I started reading some of these books and some of them I liked and some of them I didn't. And I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do that. So I think just really my love for reading was the catalyst because for me, writing is a lot like reading. I'm a discovery writer, so I don't necessarily know what the next scene is gonna be. So it's kind of exciting, it's kind of mysterious to write and think, oh, I don't know how this scene is going to end, but I'm the one that gets to change it, and I'm the one that gets to make it so it will be hopefully exciting and interesting to someone else as well. My next novel is another Book of Mormon novel, and it's on the daughters of Jared. And the interesting thing about that book is the daughter of Jared was not a very nice lady. So I decided to write it from the point of view of her younger sister, so this story does have a re redemptive quality where otherwise it definitely would.